Hello dear traders, this is Petko Alexandrov and I continue now with some more results on the next day and you can see already I have $60.84 as a profit into the account and I have more trades open and closed. So let's have a look what we have in FX Blue. Right here we can see the same total net profit and you can see the strategies opened more count of trades. So what more we have as statistic over here, if I scroll to the right side, you will see that I have the numbers of winners, losers, these are the numbers of trades. We have it in percentage as well and we have best trade, worst trade, a lot a lot of statistics we have as well the length of the trades like the longest the shortest average length of the trades you can see some trades last just couple of hours some last overnight and on the right side we have the pips which is very interesting for me you can see there is a huge difference when we're trading index like Dow Jones and when we are trading with the forex currency. So I have total win pips here, total loss pips as net pips I have 694.2 alright and I have at the same time total net profit of $60.84. So there is a huge difference over here when we're talking about the pips in forex trading and when we're talking about the pips with Dow Jones or the other indexes, okay? Basically here the pips are much more and I always like to have a look at the pips. I will share with you how I'm using those later with Dow Jones. We have pip profit factor. We have as well the total lots traded and some other statistics till the end as consecutive losses, consecutive wins, okay, maximum consecutive winning trades and so on. A lot, a lot of statistics. First, I'm looking at the net profit to see which are the profitable strategies and which are the ones that are currently losing, all right? And then I have the profit factor and the number of trades. Now, as we said, every strategy has a losing period. If you remember when we generated the strategies on their balance chart, there were these drown downs, stagnation periods, then it's profit again, stagnation period and so on. Very normal for every strategy. The thing is, I want to trade the strategies into my life account only when they are in their profitable phase. And how I recognize that? Simply, I test them on a demo account and I see which ones are making profit at the current moment. Because this is like the real thing we have at the moment. Having a back test is very, very useful because we see how the strategy performed in the past, but this is in the past, okay? It's not in the future. There is never guarantee that this strategy will continue profiting in the future. So this is why I test the strategies for the current moment, for the current market conditions, and I want to see which strategies are currently profiting, which strategies are currently in their profitable phase. So one thing is I wait for minimum five count of trades. You can see the first one got already seven, then the second is still with four, then the third and the fourth, they have five already. And then you can see the rest, some already have above five, some below five. So I wait five to make sure that the equity line of this strategy is going upwards at the moment, right? And I combine it with the profit factor. I'm looking for profit factor above 1.2. So you see that the first five strategies they have profit factor above 1.2, but only three of those are having already five trades. The first one, the third and the fourth one. The second is still with four. So these three strategies are ready for real trading. Okay, another method that I'm using is to wait again for five trades, five count of trades, and I combine it with the net pips, okay? So you can see the first one did 358, then 204, 194, 180, 178. So I'm looking for the strategies that have above 100 pips. And you can see that in this case, I have the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth one. Now here I will have the very same strategies, this one, 
this one and this one because these are the ones that have above 5 trades and they have above 100 pips and they have profit factor above 1.2 at the same time right and the third method I'm using this is the winners and the losers in this case I wait for 10 trades minimum and then I want at least 7 out of the 10 to be winners then I would consider these strategies trading for my live trading account so one more time three methods three different methods i used first one is having minimum five trades and profit factor above 1.2 second one having five trades as a minimum and above 100 net pips okay here they are and the third one is minimum 10 trades and then seven out of the ten to be winners now, it doesn't matter which method you choose, actually, you're very welcome to create your own method, how to filter the strategies and how to select which ones to place on a live account. I just want to share with you my methods, how I am doing it, but I combine the three methods with the different accounts, with the different assets, because this way, again, I achieve better risk diversification so i use different approaches and it's the same thing having a good risk diversification when we're trading with many strategies you can see i'm trading many strategies even some are having losses at the moment the others compensate for it now another important thing is if you select strategies for your life account make sure to select minimum three strategies all right, because if you select just one, for example, the best one for the moment, and you put it on your life account, there is the chance that this strategy might turn into its losing phase and it will bring you some losses, right? But when you place three strategies, they will compensate each other just what the 10 strategies are doing now. We want to trade not one, but many strategies together in one account and for me it's minimum three. It really took me a lot of time to come with this conclusion that I have to trade with many strategies, not only one, because this way when any of the strategies lose, the others compensate for it. And you can see it very, very clearly here. So now I will be using the first method that I shared with you and I will use profit factor above 1.2 and minimum count of trades five, which means that the first one, the third and the fourth are ready for my live trading account and one last thing when you move your strategies to your live account make sure to follow the results there as well and if you are following profit factor above 1.2 you will have to remove the strategies from the live account if their performance goes below 1.2 right so it's the same criteria that you should be following there all right so this is how i select the strategies and i will move those to my life account now and when any of the other strategies reach five trades and profit factor above 1.2 i will move them as well the best thing you can start with is to open another demo account and simulate it as it is your real trading account okay just open another demo account with the same broker that you have selected to use and place there the three strategies that are making profit for you currently follow the performance of the two accounts and just move from one to the other according to your method that you want to use this way you will practice the process and just don't hurry with trading with live account until you are sure until you're confident with the method you will select to use all right thank you very much for watching this course it was really a pleasure for me to record it if you have any questions let me know at any moment i will be updating these strategies whenever it is needed and of course i will let you know when i update the course Wish you safe trading and always enjoy when you are trading with expert advisors. It's really not hard. It removes the stress, the emotions that traders have in manual trading and it's very easy. Just be patient to practice sometimes and I'm sure you will find your own method which will bring you some confidence in trading and stable results. Thanks for watching and always take care. Cheers. Bye bye.